Another issue that we run into is, is loose rings. Uh, I'd mentioned before that uh, you could try to put these on, uh, tighten them up with some super glue. That'll work a bit, but it often tends to make a big mess. It's not the ideal solution. Uh, we want to uh, put something that's tight, but that is also temporary. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool is a Mylar balloon. Uh, I use this material for a lot of different things. One of the main things is uh, testing feelers, which I, I will use for testing leaks on, on the pads. But another thing that it works really good for is uh, tightening up our loose rings. So we just put a piece of this over the joint. Uh, I do have a little hammer here that I got. This is actually a five-in-one. It's got a bunch of little additional screwdrivers in it. If you use a metal hammer, you need to face it with something. This is the only hammer that I could find that was cheap enough. We won't use it until we could glue some cork or felt to that. So get some sort of a mallet that you can do that. Tap it almost all the way in place. Um, get a single-edged razor blade. And by, by tapping it almost in place, it allows us to use uh, the little space here as a, as a trimming guide on the bottom. Um, just trim that around. That part is set off. Uh, now we can peel this stuff around and we use the inside edge of the protruding ring as a guide. Put that in place. Um, go around the surface. If you've got a little bit left over, you should be able to trim that pretty easy. Typically, there won't be anything left showing. Um, and that, that holds real nice. One other thing that works real well is a nylon stocking. Put that over there, do the same sort of thing, and it holds real nice. Nice, elegant, nice, easy solution. Uh, now we were talking about loose, um, loose corks. Okay, you put things in, this almost falls apart. Um, your joints come apart, it's, it's dangerous. Teflon tape has two advantages. It sticks to itself, because it's very thin, you can put a very good, um, you can have a very delicate amount of addition without it just being too much like it would be with tape or paper. Uh, right there is actually just perfect and it's got the, the thing I like the absolute most about this is it's just so slick. It goes together so nice. It's like the best cork grease you could ever get in the world. It's, it's almost like I wish all of my joints were this way just because they go together so good. Uh, but it's easy later on to, to remove so that the repairman can uh, you know, put more on there. Uh, if you don't have any cork at all on this, you can build up enough material with the Teflon tape for it to work. Uh, sometimes, ideally, you may want to take some thick... Uh, soft thread, wrap that in there to build up a base, and then come back to your Teflon tape. Ah. Teflon tape. And wrap it uh, the rest of the way. Uh, another thing about the Teflon tape is if you've put too much on, it, it tends to just compress and kind of smush the excess stuff away. Sometimes you may have some little uh, excess things here that you might want to pull off. So the Teflon tape and the Silly Putty are your two biggest friends to keep in your kit at all times.